right, what up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about working power and showing an example of how you can um, calculate the work and power that was done by somebody going up the stairs. So uh, power is a measure of work divided by time. So you're basically measuring how fast work was done, right? And if you remember what work is, work is equal to the force times distance, uh, but it's also equal to the change in energy. So however big this work is, when you multiply the force and distance, then that's how much the energy has changed, right? Because work is something you do and change of energy is what you get as a result. Uh, I should also, also remind you that work, let me sorry, the force and distance have to be in the same direction. All right, so Mr. Stickman climbs up 12 meter tall stairs in 30 seconds. The staircase is 20 meters long. Mr. Stickman's mass is 30 kilograms. How much work does he do? How much power does he have while walking up the stairs? Okay, so we're gonna answer these questions. So here's what we're gonna figure out, right? First, we have to figure out how much force uh, he is exerting in order to push himself self up the stairs. And then from that, we find the work. And when we have the work, we can find the power. All right, so he must push himself up with a force that's equal to gravity, all right? So if he's moving up the stairs at a constant velocity, then the force that he's using to push himself up is balanced with the force of gravity. If it was less than the force of gravity, then he would be accelerating downward and he wouldn't be going up the stairs. Uh, so his, his force will equal uh, mass times uh, gravity because that's how you find the force of gravity. His mass is 30, so 30 times 10 would be 300 newtons. Okay, so now that we have the force, uh, we're going to use the equation work is equal to force times distance. And uh, the question now is, do we use the 12 meters, which is how tall the stairs are, or do we use the 25 meters, which is how long the stairs are? All right, and the answer is we're going to use the 12 meters because the force and distance need to be in the same direction. So we only count the force that is in the direction. We only count the, the, the distance that's in the direction that the force is, is, is directed. So he's pushing himself up. And so we use the 12 meters because that's how far he's going to push himself up. So 30 times 12 is 3,600 joules. All right. Now here's an interesting thing. What if we had just calculated his energy at the top? Gravitational potential energy is mass times gravity times height. That would have also given us 3,600 joules. And, and is that a coincidence? Not at all, because work is equal to change in energy. So he had zero joules of energy if he's on the ground and not pushing himself up. When he gets to the top of the staircase, he has gravitational potential energy, 3,600 joules. And so the work that he did by pushing himself up those 12 meters gives him the gravitational energy he has at the top, right? So whatever way you choose to calculate it, he gets 3,600 joules uh, of work done, All right? So power is work divided by time. And we're told that he took 30 seconds to get to the top of the stairs. So we take his work and divide by time and we get 120 watts. So what that means is every second, on average, he did 120 joules of work, right? You can also say that he uh, changed his energy by 120 joules every second. All right, so hopefully that example helps you understand this, and I'll see you all in the next video.